I got the ghillie suit on. The fish will never find me. No, no, no. That's that's where they get you. Or they try to get you. See, I'm I'm going to be a little bit less covert than you. Oh, yeah? So I've never actually done this before in my life, so this will be fun. I'm attracting a bunch of different insects because they're thinking, they're looking at me and they're thinking, that's a bush. Oh, facts. That's a bush right there. You do kind of have bush energy. Don't ever say that. I don't know how this works. I'm going to be real with you. You do. I can't get a good grip on it. It's slippery. They lubed it up nice. That's one thing I love about fishing line is when they lube it up real good. Get it nice and slick. It's a yeah. nice day out. It is a nice day out. It's a little warm, yeah. but like not in a bad way. I mean, you're the one in the ghillie suit. Yeah, because I just don't want to be seen by my prey. enemies. <laughs> my enemies. And the ops, a.k.a. the fish. Yeah. What are we catching today? Uh, we're going to catch some uh, brim, some bass. I'm just kidding. I don't think there's bass out here. How'd you do that? There you go. Grab it. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing great. Yeah, I know. You don't got to tell me twice. The leaves on this ghillie suit are tickling me, man. You think they said that in the war? Probably. God fucking damn, dude. I can't. It's like threading a needle in a haystack. That's That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like threading the needle straight through the haystack, brother. Oh man, the classic saying. You, you have some. You have so much wisdom, though. I know. Uh, have you ever seen um, like what was that survival show, Alone or whatever? No, I know what you're talking it's about. Like North but... Canada, almost. It's kind of the North Pole, and they just get dropped off, to survive there for as long as they can. They get all. They, they get to pick like to grab one item with them. I think. <laughs> Bring hatchets. Some people bring like a thingamajig to start fires. I would never do that. What would you bring on this specific trip? No, to, if you to, had to survive. To... Oh, I would bring a. I, I bring a couple can of cans of soup. One item. You can bring one item. Okay, uh, my trusty. Well, actually, in reality, I was gonna give you a like Mimi answer, but in reality, I think I would bring a already strung up fishing pole. <laughs> Some people did that. I would. What would? You, what about you? What would you do? I think I'd bring an axe or a hatchet. Oh yeah, because you're a juggalo. But like, you could just bring like a fucking big nunchucks. knife. Nunchucks. Oh. Okay, nunchuck. Yeah, sure. What would you do if you had a billion dollars? Um, kill myself. Yeah, me too. Oh. Why don't you do it the other way around? I don't want to hit you. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I lost my hook. <laughs> you got it. You know, I think I'm just going to simulate it. I'm going to simulate fishing. Like this. You, oh, you're not going to put a new hook? <laughs> That's how you simulate it, brother. <laughs> just out there now. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see over there. I'll tell you how, what's going on over there. Yeah, how's it going? Oh, um, I can't really see just yet. Hold on. Oh, yeah. It's out there, huh? Oh, yeah, you fucked it up. Is there anything particular that you're excited about, Tour? Like, um... Yes. I mean, there's lots of things. Uh, I always love, like, just having an excuse to be around friends. Yeah. For long periods of time at a time. And, you know... Uh, sad kid, love sad kid's gonna be there for the first two dates, mm -hmm. and then Square's gonna be with me for the entirety of it. Yeah. Afterwards, so you know I love Square. Uh, I'm also a fan of both of theirs. So watching them perform is always a pleasure, and so just being around that is gonna be great. Mitch is coming with me on tour as well. I'm jealous of that. Yeah, he's gonna be helping out with a lot of the stuff. Yeah. I mean, like, last year we went on a tour bus tour, you know, mm -hmm. because we did so many cities. Right. 32 cities back to back. Whereas now, um, because we're kind of, like, doing it more regionally and, like, very specific kind of routing, uh, like, we get to do 
like also uh you know van tours mm -hmm. which is something that i've again i've also never experienced like my first ever tour experience was on a tour bus yeah you yeah know? it's weird because it's like um the tour bus thing was awesome but like i've always i know it sounds kind of shitty the idea of like oh yeah you and your friends all get in a van and y'all drive across America. Yeah. And it's like, but it's it like, doesn't sound shitty to me. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, like, the way it was like portrayed is like, because, you know, like touring used to be different when we were younger, right? It was like yeah. you would go out and you tour to people that didn't know who you were. And you would just hope that you get picked up by somebody or whatever. And so this idea of like you being like nobodies and going on tour and it being like, you know, uh, yeah, we we slept on van, we slept in the van, we slept on people's fucking floor, and yeah. like whatever, whatever we could do, and we scraped by, and but yeah. it was the best years of my life, you know, yeah, like yeah, that yeah. kind of thing. I feel like um, it's uh, uh, obviously it's not going to be quite like that, but like uh, I was like kind of like weirdly envious of like this was a thing that people went through. It was like a rite yeah. of passage, yeah, yeah and yeah. it's gonna be cool, like doing that and it's like a, a feeling of camaraderie that you probably wouldn't get on a bus situation in the same way <laughs> <laughs> i'm excited for everyone to hear my album too yeah me too it sounds great and uh your album leap was very good thank you you think so i know so it's my favorite rap album what is that noise it could be a bird, it could be some sort of like, um, mammal. Oh, it's toads. No, it's a bird or something. Are yeah. we sure that's not a baby alligator? Is that what baby alligators sound like? Kinda. Whatever it is, is like coming from right there. That's great. Sorry, I got distracted by that. What were we talking about? Oh, we were talking about your album. Oh, yo! Boy. Uh, first hey, of all, uh, buddy, that's kind of on my side over here. Uh, that's all I'm saying is your yeah. side's over there. Look, you see your your thing is floating over there. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's a crazy ass noise, bro. Yeah, I don't know. It's been surreal. I've been working on the Leap album for a minute, and then just I've been so through so much. Working on that album, I was on the road recording at Airbnbs, hotel rooms, yeah, losing yeah. losing a laptop with sessions, having to stick with, uh, you know, demos for some songs. Couldn't change certain things. Uh, yeah. I don't know. It, it's like it's an unusual. It was an unusual experience, but uh, you know, cathartic nonetheless. I remember when you you showed me stuff. Like when you were making it, like uh, like stuff like my bag and stuff like a long time ago. Yeah. And I don't know. I was really excited for it to come out. Like I was. I'm glad that it's out. Thank you. It made me really happy. Yeah. I teared up a little bit during the. Uh, yeah, the listening party. The listening party. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I I cried a little. It's been a wow. tough year. It's been a tough like few years in general for me, but. Yeah. The last year has been uh, not optimal. Yeah, it's been rough. You know, being, being off my meds for so long, and there was a period of time where I was not in therapy for a long time, and being homeless. You know, like not in like the same sense that people kind of probably think of, but yeah, just floating from one place to another. Not without... having a home base, bro. Like exactly. That shit was um tough yeah that shit was really tough and, i mean uh, i was talking to you through the majority of that and it was it was a period of t in time where like we barely talked i mean we did talk but it was so little you know because i was just on the road so yeah often. yeah you were just going 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 like there were definitely period a few months where i think we like talk like last summer i think we talked less than two hours in total together yeah the whole summer which is wild yeah speaking of like we would usually talk like all the fucking time all the time like for hours sometimes hours a day you yeah. know what i mean yeah i'm glad you're in my life i'm glad you're in my life Dude. it's kind of gross these feelings thing man it's, i'm not into it i'm giving up on these however i'm not giving up oh 
That was a good Finally. cast. Finally. That was a good cast. Yo, let's go. Trial and error. Also, once I took the plastic off, I love the corkscrew handle. You got a corkscrew handle too, I think. Yeah, I gotta take my plastic off, but then what about STIs? That's true. You know? You refer to rubbers as, as plastic? Hold yeah, on, babe, yeah. I gotta put the plastic on. Yeah. Sorry, ma'am, you're gonna have to wait. I gotta put my plastic on. That's how I talk to people I'm about to have sex with. Sorry, ma'am. When you heard Katy, Mary, <laughs> Katy Perry say she feels like a plastic bag, you're like, gross. I get that. You get that? You feel like a condom sometimes? Dude, careful. I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're good. I'm sorry. You good, you good, you good. Ooh, I saw some jump in the water over there. Where at? Over there. Over yonder. I bet it was a fish. Could be. I'm jealous that you get to go on tour the entire time with Square and Melty Cannon. I've always oh. wanted to see a Melty Cannon show. Yeah, um, I've been a fan of Melty for so long. Yeah. And it's cool because like I remember like they were producing under the name Dojinchi at the time and I was doing the Trap or Jinzo stuff. Oh, Tumblr days? Yeah, Tumblr days. And I remember hitting him up and was like, yo, let's make something together. And we never did, but he yeah. expressed interest at the time. And uh, it's just kind of like a cool, oh my God, I took this thing. Um, it's kind of a cool like full circle moment for me. I'm really excited to, yeah. to hang out with him. Yeah. And I'm excited to see Square again. Oh yeah, and Square Square's gonna go on your tour and my tour, and, yeah. and he say he's doing two completely different sets. That's wild to me. I'm working on my set right now, and I'm trying to put a lot of effort and everything into it. I saw what Square was doing, all the shit that he figured out with Ableton, and yeah, like it's so he's so meticulous about putting together his set. The fact that he's putting two separate sets entirely. Uh, it's like crazy. He's such a hard working dude. It's insane. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, that I think that his whole thing is, is he doesn't want people to feel like. Yeah, that they're going they in. Go to if, the same show yeah, if they go whatever. to your show and they go to my show, that it's like the same thing. It's not. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Square. Shout out Square. I, I'm sure you got the same question too. But under when I posted my announcement, people were like, "Where's Where's Bill? Why no Bill?" A lot of people thought like uh, there are some people who asked me like, "Oh no." No, uh, no Rav, and then I think some people just, like, assumed we were, like, beefing or something. Which is true. Which is true, yeah. I guess if people forget that we're independent artists and we kind of need to build our, our own thing up, you know, this is work. This is, yeah. it's a pa our passion and everything, but it's also work. If we want to get, like, we, we need to strengthen our individual brands, and whenever our individual brands are stronger, then we can, when we, you know, inevitably group together again, get together, we can do, accomplish that much more. Yeah, exactly. Uh, as a unit. It's like, uh, I mean, I explained that to my stream and stuff, and people understood. Yeah. But I was also kind of like, I don't like, like, you know, like, this is, like, if we did a tour together, then it's like, we don't have, like, a headlining tour. You know what I mean? Like, one of us would be headlining. Yeah. And, I don't know, I want that for me, and I want that for you. And I know that we'll do stuff together, but I think a lot of times people just assume that we're like outcasts or something and we just don't do anything independent of each other. I agree. You know, which is a little bit frustrating sometimes because it's like, I love you. A lot of things that are completely independent of each other, you know? 100%. Okie dokie. All right. All right. <sighs> I can't believe it. There you go. There we go. That was good. Thank you. Bro, I'm going to be mad if we don't catch a fish. I will get it. We'll get it. Could you save me some of your tour merch that you're going to be selling? Yeah, I will. Okay. Can you save me some of your term, tour mer term merch? Tour merch? Yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah, uh, we got that exclusive tour merch. That's right. It's not going to be anywhere else, but... That's why I want you to save some for me, because I know I'm, if, I, if I'm not able to make it to any of the shows, I don't want to miss the opportunity. We got to get you out there for one of the shows, though. I would like that. I would like to... to I, I would come out to one of yours. Oh, thank you. I would, I would love that, I'd too. make some time, if I have time, which I probably will. 
You might. Yeah, who knows? Who knows where life will take you then? You got this. Okay. What I did was I basically flung it, and as I fling it, I released the, the, the thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know how people do it. You got to channel your forefathers. All four channel of them. Foreskin. Channel your foreskin. Okay. Don't fall now. I would never. Oh, you oh, look I good. You look good in the light right now. Thanks, man. Not bad. That wasn't good. No, it wasn't. Oh, I see. It got. It got fuckied. Yeah. Just one, you know, one fish. I'm not asking for much. Or a gator. She looks good. <laughs> I'm not gonna let that ruin my good time. Hell no. I'm gonna support my friend. Thank you. Now that's a good cast. Yeah, you saw how far it went? You know what I wanna make tonight? Quesadillas. Quesadillas. You wanna work on a new album together? Yeah. We don't have to. We really don't have to. We really don't, I guess, you know. There's no, it's not necessary. We don't need to. Yeah, you're right, let's not do it. I mean, would you want to work on that one? Yeah, back in South Carolina. This is where dreams This is are where made. Our career sort of started. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. It is crazy. We're about an hour and a half you away from crazy? what? Woo! Got a little water on me. That's how you know it's good. I'm sure the fish are like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the cricket went. <laughs> <laughs> do you just hear? Do you just hear? <laughs> well, <I> got, <laughs> dopey one. Are you gonna? Um, the dopey one. You're trying to win them back by making a little beat. Yep. That shit was crazy. The fish song. <laughs> That's a preview, is. so then they're like, I want more. Then they have to follow you on Twitter and Instagram and TikTok. And YouTube. And YouTube. And home. They gotta follow you home. Follow right? me home. All right, man, now's your chance. This one is of the those, one. This those is the rav one. bangers. Yo, I love the, like, dust coming up. <laughs> that shit was crazy. There was Dude, some... I caught some. Yeah. Can you help me release it, that poor creature? Careful, it's on the hook. It's on the hook. I, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Oh, yeah. Steak. Well, that shit smells crazy. <laughs> Does it? Yeah, it's, it's mostly the cricket. It's also my hands smell like cricket. Where did it go? Oh, my God. That was good, dude. Thank you. Yeah, I wish I had uh, a free Skill? made... Yeah. You know what I wish I had right now? What? Can of Bud Light. I'd love a King Palm right now. A King Palm in one hand. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's the Bud Light right there. BL right here. Glug, glug, glug. Yeah. And both both of these veins, heroin, 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 heroin. Yeah. You yeah, know, yeah, and just yeah. like see where the night takes us. You want to... Go drive to town and get some food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wish that I uh, didn't ruin my my rod and yeah. my fishing pole. Yeah, your cock is all mangled. Yeah. It's from dangling out with the gators. Whoa, you got... No fucking way. Fuck, dude. Oh, it got away. It got away. That's crazy. Did it take it? No, it didn't. It tried to. Pull up. Tried oh, to. it tried Dude, though. Dude, you saw that though. That was crazy. Yo! Holy shit. I was like, uh, I, I believed in myself, you know?